This video describes the Windrose Diagram Statlet, new in Stack Graphics 18. A Windrose Diagram is used to display the distribution of wind speed and wind direction at a particular geographical location. They are often used when positioning runways at an airport or locating wind turbines. In the wind rows you see here, the 360 degrees of the compass have been divided into 16 divisions, each containing 22.5 degrees. The size of the pedal in a particular direction indicates how frequently wind comes from that direction. Each pedal is subdivided into colors indicating how often the wind speed is of various magnitudes. There is also a white circle in the middle indicating how often the wind is calm. The data displayed here correspond to midnight at a particular location. I am going to demonstrate a statlet that illustrates via animation how the wind speed and direction change over time. I have loaded into Stack Graphics 18 a data file called Parkdale Wind Data. This shows the wind direction and wind speed in Parkdale, Oregon every hour of every day during the year 2014. To create the wind rows, I will select Statlets from the main menu, then choose Time Series Visualizers Wind Rows Diagram. On the Data Input dialog box, I'll put the column Wind Direction, where it asks for the circular factor, Wind Speed, where it asks for the radial factor, and Time, where it asks for the slicer. When I press OK, it will show me an initial Wind Rose diagram for midnight. To better show the wind speeds, I'm going to right click and choose Analysis Options. Where it asks for the radial division's lower class limits, I'm going to change them to 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. That will give you a better differentiation about how the speed changes with direction. You can clearly see that the wind tends to be stronger when it's coming from the west than when it's coming from the south. To visualize how wind speed and direction change throughout the day, I'll let the wind rose diagram cycle through the hours. Notice how once you get to the early afternoon, the predominant wind direction is west rather than south. It also tends to be stronger in the early afternoon. I am sure you will agree that our dynamic windrose diagram is a great tool for visualizing changes in wind, speed, and direction. 